What's going on y'all? Stacy Wolf from Ride to Food here and today I want to talk to y'all about the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS. Now I've been using the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS, this exact helmet, for the last two years as I've been getting into adventure riding. As many of y'all know, I've been riding on the street for a long time, uh, but getting into adventure riding is a whole, quite literally a whole new sport, which means you need a whole different set of gear, and a helmet is just as important as everything else that you're going to invest in. Uh, the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS was the perfect helmet for me for my first helmet. It's also a very popular helmet in general in the adventure world because it is so budget friendly and it does check so many of the boxes that people are looking for in a helmet. So let's go ahead and go over some specs. With plenty of upgrades from the Moto MX-9, the MX-9 Adventure's Bells take on a dual sport adventure helmet. It's DOT and ECE certified and additionally features MIPS impact technology. For those who may be new to MIPS, it stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. This slip plane technology inside the helmet is designed to help reduce the rotation forces that can result from certain impacts. So here beneath the padding, you can see that yellow piece of plastic in here. That is that MIPS technology. Like many of Bell's helmet offerings, the MX-9 Adventure has been shaped to fit a round oval head shape. Now this is a round oval helmet. If you don't know what that means, be sure to check this blog out up here about 10 things you should know about your motorcycle helmet. Um, overall, I find this helmet shape very comfortable. There's no pressure points for me personally. I've been able to wear this helmet for 12, 14 hours a day and I've been just fine. So a really great feature about the Bell MX-9 Adventure is that Bell uses a three shell system for this helmet. Traditionally, most helmet manufacturers use a two shell system. If you're someone like me who wears a size small, um, that might make you look like a bobblehead. <laughs> and what they do is they end up adding all this extra padding in here that doesn't actually benefit you, it just helps fill that shell. Bell uses a three shell system, so if you're like me and you have a smaller head, um, the overall helmet just doesn't look as big on you. So that's something that I personally really enjoy about this helmet. Speaking of padding, the MX-9 Adventure features Ionic Plus antimicrobial, fully removable and washable padding. The Ionic Plus quick drying technology helps manage sweat in addition to odor control. Additionally, the Bell MX-9 comes with an integrated removable shield with anti-fog, anti-scratch, and UV protection. Now something that I did to this helmet, uh, just because I'm a little bougie, <laughs> is I added the ProTent shield to it. If you purchase the Bell MX-9 Adventure DLX, it comes with the ProTent shield, but there's not as many colorway options as there are with the MX-9 Adventure MIPS. So I went ahead and added the ProTent shield. If you don't know what that is, it is a UV reactive shield. So whenever it's super sunny out, it's going to be super dark, just like this whenever the sun goes down or you are not in a ton of uh, uv rays is going to be clear so that you can see at night or in shaded areas um, i love these i run these on all of my helmets that they are available for and it's just phenomenal once you use a pro tent shield it's really hard to go back to another shield style now if you like wearing high vis shields like yellow or orange or maybe you just want to run a clear one those are available at bellhelmets.com if you're one of those people who likes to ride with sunglasses on, or maybe you wear prescription eyeglasses, you can fit them comfortably in this helmet. For those of you who wear eyeglasses, or maybe you just prefer to wear sunglasses underneath your helmet, um, this helmet does not have eyeglass specific pockets. However, I've done hours and hours of riding with sunglasses on with this helmet, especially at lower speeds. Um, I did the entire Rawhide Adventure training class with sunglasses on and I had no issues. And we were on the bikes for at least eight hours a day while doing that class. So personally, no issues. So if that's something that you have to consider um, because you have prescription or you just enjoy um, wearing sunglasses while you're riding, I personally think you'll be fine, but that's also personal pre preference. <laughs> If face shields aren't your thing in certain riding conditions, you can also wear this helmet with goggles with or without the shield installed. Mm -hmm. 
The last two features I wanna to touch on are the velocity airflow system and the peak visor. Now, because these vents up here do not close, if you were riding a torrential downpour, you may notice a little bit of rain coming in. Um, I personally did when I rode with this helmet in the rain. However, I didn't really mind it. It wasn't a huge ordeal. Um, I think that's just something that, you know, you're, it's gonna happen no matter what, um, but it is something to be aware of. These vents on the side also do not close, but this one does. If you're planning to ride in colder conditions, the MX-9 works really well with a cold weather kit accessory, which includes a breath box and internal liner for extra insulation. I rode from Colorado to California with this kit installed where temperatures ranged from the low 30s to the 80s, and I was pretty comfortable the entire time. So here's what the cold weather kit looks like when it's not inside the helmet. It is simply a little liner that goes between the MIPS liner and your regular microbial liner, as well as the little breath box here. This works phenomenally at blocking wind. I am a very big fan of this little piece right here. So here in the helmet, this is going to be that cold weather liner. Like I said, it just clips right on in, and here's that MIPS liner. So a popular question that I see online is, do you get a ton of lift from the peak visor system? So personally, I haven't had a ton, but that's going to be a very personal experience type of question. Um, it's going to depend on how you sit on your motorcycle, where your windscreen sits for you as well. Um, I haven't had to take this off while doing any highway riding. However, it's really easy to do. All you do is use these three screws on the helmet and you don't even need tools. It's easy as that. And it will just simply unscrew and you can take it off if you need. Um, but overall, I haven't needed to do that. Another popular question that I see online talks about Bluetooth communication devices. I use a Lexan G16. There are speaker pockets inside of this helmet, which makes it really easy to install and very comfortable to wear. Uh, again, no pressure points for me whenever I'm wearing this. Um, I can hear everything pretty clearly. That's going to depend on your hearing as well as the speed that you are traveling whenever you are using this. But personally for me, I've had no issues. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this review of the Bell MX-9. Let me know if you have any other questions down in the comments below, and perhaps I'll see you on the road or maybe in the dirt. Later y'all.